can I believe that I'm buying something to do with gas? I've got to cut the pipe off, insert this, and tighten it up with a Jubilee quick clip. I'm not really a gas fitter. Okay, so how are you doing? I'm back in the room and um, the Kodak Safari Chef 2 is now assembled in some form or another. Now there's a little bit of a problem. Now I think when I last spoke to you, I was discussing the fact that when I unboxed the said barbecue, the image of the product on Amazon, got it from Amazon, showed there being a kind of tube and a gas regulator attached to it. I was a little bit upset about that because there wasn't, and it wasn't my birthday present after all. I had a chat to the people at Amazon about this because it meant I was gonna to have to buy another tube and regulator, which came to about 23 pounds. I'd ordered that and thought, oh, okay, never mind. I was looking to try the barbecue out today, which is a Sunday. It looked like that was gonna to take till next Thursday to come. Anyway, what I then realized as well is Frankly, the dodgy picture that showed the valve in it and the tube was the, the, the same supplier was supplying the regulator and the tube. I thought I was a bit, bit annoyed about that. So I canceled that and I managed to get, because the picture was misrepresented, if you want, 23 pound back from Amazon. So I think that's fair really, because I didn't have to pay for it. And now I've got 23 pounds towards the regulator and tube and stuff. So. Anywho, um, I think I'm guilty of not doing enough research before buying this wonderful machine. I'm really still looking forward to using it, really excited about it, but ah, I didn't understand there was a difference between butane and protein. I, I, we've just never used anything like this before. So on a little bit more reading, it, it appears, now do not take this as advice because I, I don't know enough about this to give advice and I'm not intending you to take this advice. This is just me discussing kind of where I got to. Having realized that I needed to get a uh, regulator and a tube to now attach to said barbecue, and bear in mind the one I've got is the, the release valve one. So that connects up underneath the barbecue, so to speak, and that now needs a tube around it. So that's the bit that came with it. But what I was actually hoping to get was a regulator, a tube, and a quick release valve built in. Huh. They seem to be more hard to find than chicken's teeth. It appears that I'm gonna have to, I was thinking most of my projects might be when the van has arrived, uh, but it appears I might actually have a project now. So, did some shopping around, and we live near Portsmouth and there's a camping world in Chichester. So anyway, we set ourselves off to camping world Sunday morning to get there just after 10 o'clock. Okay, so having arrived at camping world, then we had a kind of little look round and being you know newbies that are looking to get the van soon, there's a whole bunch of stuff to have a look around. It's really quite exciting looking at all the stuff and bits and pieces like that. But you do have to be careful. You don't just keep buying stuff because it's so easy to go, oh, we have that, we have that. I think we need a fire bucket. We better get some of this chemical, all that kind of thing. We're actually gonna try and wait to a little bit closer to the van, just in case the van doesn't come. Who knows, right? So anyway, we had a lovely walk around Camping World and then we came across the Kodak. Is it Kodak? Kodak. Kodak, Kodak. Let's call it Kodak. Uh, barbecue section and they have got a whole ton of stuff with Kodak and uh, in fairness I think I'm regretting not going there first because I think it could have been a whole bit more straightforward. Anywho um, they had a magnitude of uh, valves and all those sorts of things. So as I say we didn't really understand the difference between propane and butane and apparently propane, do not take this as advice as I said just now, is better for increased altitude. So Butane is better for lower kind of attitude stuff, so altitude. So as we're not intended on using ours upstairs, we won't be using protane. However, I looked at the six pack of gas canisters that I bought with my lack of knowledge, and it appears, I think it's 70% butane, 30% protane. So this whole kind of gas thing is a real mystery. And anywho, so we, we I, I figured out that I needed an EN417 threaded thing 
So that would be into the regulator. Then I needed some tube and then I needed a Jubilee clip like this, which would then attach the tube to my existing quick release, the QR part of this quick release valve. Again, there's so many valves and or so many regulators. So what I know, I know that this is a, a 30, um, uh, is it millibar, 30 millibar, I think. 30 M bar, and I needed to get the right regulator to do that. So anyway, and I'd also read, when I started looking into this last night, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there about people connecting these things to one canister, and perhaps because of our weather, they they condensate on the outside, and the, the strength of the flame isn't strong enough sometimes because of the wind and the weather. Don't fully understand it, but in a kind of Jeremy Clarkson kind of fashion, I kind of thought, well, more power is what we need. So what I did, and this is my first project for the van, I bought one of these. So this can have two canisters attached to it. I personally think it's overkill, but there was a whole bunch of other things. And I chatted to the guys in the shop who were extremely helpful at Camping World, I have to say. Um, they were very, very helpful. So, so this is what we've got. And the project is, didn't take too long to get to the project, did it? The project is, I need to open this, and guess what? This, the dual power pack, P-A-K, they don't come with a quick release valve fitted to them. I don't understand this. I don't understand how there's a quick release valve connector on there, and I can't get one of these, and maybe they're just not here yet, there's supply chain problems, but they had a whole bunch of these without the quick release connector on. What they do have, however, which I'll try and show you here. So you've got the connector, which is screwed into the valve, into the regulator. And then underneath is this piece, which should normally screw up into the bottom of the barbecue. However, what we need to do is cut that off. Can I believe that I'm buying something to do with gas? I've got to cut the pipe off, insert this, and tighten it up with a Jubilee quick clip. I'm not really a gas fitter, so so we'll give it a go. So, um, what could possibly go wrong, right? Right, okay, uh, if I was a surgeon, I would now um, don my gown. However, I'm not, and we're going to use a very sharp device. So what we're gonna do, oh, by the way, these plastic things, it's so easy to cut your fingers hacking these through with a pair of scissors. So what we're gonna do is cut through with a trusty old standing knife and try not to slice my work top, my pride, or anything like that. We're gonna, I should be looking down at this right now. So we're gonna cut away from you, they say. Cut away, definitely cut away. So we're gonna cut away from the gas pipe because cutting towards that probably isn't gonna end well, right? Okay, and then try not to slash your fingers open, get in, this oh, seems to have lost a light out of the packet. There you go. So that doesn't necessarily work well. We won't be returning this by the look of the packet. Okay, so let's be honest, I can't return it because I'm going to cut the end off. Um, oh, by the way, it was £35. So the actual thing was £35 to be able to connect two of the gas canisters to my Kodak. I mean, if anybody does watch this video, if you, you know, if I've done the wrong thing, feel free to point out because as I say, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, um, especially with gas, electrics I know about. I know a lot about electrics because the thing is with electrics, if you put two wires together and they spark, you know you're doing the wrong thing, right? Okay, so dual power pack. Okay. Right, okay, let's get into this then. So, right, we have got this and we're now going to Operate. I mean, it's only 35 pound, right? I mean, I actually thought that this afternoon I'd be using my barbecue, not actually building it, you know, as in kind of connecting pipes and stuff like that. So, okay, right. So um, first things first, this doesn't look very malleable at all. There's a word I didn't think I'd use today. So, so the idea is what we're gonna hope for at some stage is that that will 
have, this is gonna be much, hopefully this doesn't drag the cans around. So hopefully this is gonna connect up into the barbecue and that will sit on top of two cans. Well, at least we've got the right type look because there's threads in there. So I think we're, we're making progress. Right, okay, what I'm gonna do is just warm up this pipe because what I want to do is just cut around this connector here, but I'll warm it up first because then it should cut through a bit easier. I'll be back in a minute. All right, that's relatively warm and flexible. Let's see what happens if we do this, shall we? So I'm looking to try and get an, as straight an edge as I can up against this piece of sheath there. So, and hopefully that will give me a reasonably straight line up to the end of the connector that I've got. So let's, let's just hope so, shall we? Okay, okay, looking good. Oh, it does feel warm actually. Okay, looking good. Just getting that bit round there. Okay, there we go. And just that bit there. Cool. Just a little bit of trimming to do there. Stage one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you join me where the patient is pretty much well into the operation. And uh, we've removed the main valve or connector and we have a open artery here. It's looking pretty terminal. So we have just enough time left for the operation to try and bring this all back together. So we have some soap. And the idea is with the soap that I will put that in the end here, but not until after I've warmed it up with this. So what we'll hope to do is to get this on, get this tube onto this pipe without any soap. If this won't go in, female, male, if this won't go in, after a bit of heat, then we will apply some soapy suds to here. <clears throat> right, so that feels quite good. So what we're gonna do now is cease the noise. It would be nice to have some birds in the background or something after that, and now this, Hopefully, without the aid of washing up liquid, is good. Look at that. My word. Look at that. That's proper. Can you see that? That's absolutely proper. I'm more surprised than you. And uh, right, okay, so now this goes on here. So we have a, well, I think it's a six millimeter socket. Now I don't really know how close I need to get to the end. So I'm not sure how, how if I should leave a gap there, it feels like I should. So we'll pop that on um, and we can kind of look for any problems. Let's just have a look, see if this, anything underneath the barbecue that I'm gonna to need to have space for. I don't think so. Well, by the way, this is the Jubilee clip um, that I got from Camping World as well. Not only did they have the components that I wanted, they had, do you know, I think I'm gonna push it up a bit closer. Um, they, had, they had the valve or the I keep calling it a valve, I mean to call it a regulator and a tube. They had the components to do the building with. And I was just really impressed with what they had. So that, that's good job, well, well done Camping World. I was very impressed with that. In fact, what I'm gonna do, because I was suitably impressed, 
more impressed than I was with the merchant on Amazon, I can tell you. Um, but because I'm suitably impressed and thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of people will follow the link after watching this video, I'm going to pop a link to Camping World down below. So please do go and have a look at Camping World. They were very helpful today and they had a marvelous selection of things. Okay, so, my goodness. That actually, joking aside, it actually took a lot less time than what I thought it was getting. Um, I didn't expect that to go as well. Um, it seems to be clamped on there quite nicely. <sighs> quite pleased with that. Now, what we need to do now is see whether the barbecue works. Catch you in a minute. Ah, okay. Okay, that's one, with a little bit of a squirt of gas. Now, I read that you had to do them the other way, the alternate thread. So that's what was wrong there. Okay, so we're now in the right, we now know what we're doing. This is a bit. Okay. Second one going on now. Second one going on now. My goodness, you do get a squirt of gas from it. Okay, that's on. Now what we're gonna do is put a squirt to see. Nope. There you go, that's looking good. Happy with that. Right, now let's see if we can connect like this. Right, okay, that's connected now. We do the same thing. Okay, and okay. Right, let's just see what happens. We open the gas valve and turn this to. Ha! Ah, look at that! Let there be fire! And it's regulated. <laughs> 